G'day and welcome to the Tech Math Channel. What we're going to be having a look at in this, in this video is how to mentally add numbers together, okay? These are larger numbers now. So, uh, when we've been looking at these in previous videos, we're looking at how to do these using uh, complementary numbers and a special way of adding. So, use these little techniques if you can remember how to do them, but now try to apply them. Adding these three numbers, you've got five seconds. So, how did you go with that? I reckon that's five seconds. Did you get 2,308? Uh, if you did, congratulations, really good, really happy with you. Um, if not, look, we're going to have a look at how you might add these together. And this does take a little bit of practice. Maybe five seconds is a little bit ambitious. Maybe we're, we're looking at seven seconds here, okay? So with this, I'm going to show you how a little trick for adding these together. Now, last video, we were having a look at these. We were looking at this idea of complementary numbers, okay? These are numbers that add up to 10, 1 and 9, uh, 2 and 8. 3 and 7, 4 and 6, 5 and 5, and we're going to be looking for these once again to try and add our numbers together a lot easier, but we're also going to be once again adding from left to right, okay? So if you haven't seen those previous videos, have a look, if, you'll probably be able to catch it up though, I must say. So we're going to start out with some easy examples, what about we go 487 plus 539, now what I recommend here is pause them. And, and first off, I'll show you how to do them, but for later ones, pause them and, and give it a go doing it yourself. So what we were doing with these is we're adding it left to right and going as follows. 400, 900, 980, 1010, 1017, 1026. Okay, so we're adding it in this direction. And we're not saying plus this, plus this, plus this. We're just going 400, 900. 980, 1010, 1017, 1026. So we're adding that in this direction. Okay, you see that? This will get bigger and bigger. And some of these numbers, yeah, you might be able to look at and go, hey, I could add this, this this particular set of numbers together quicker this way. And that's really good. But we're going to try and get in the habit of doing these for bigger strings and numbers also, okay? So with these later ones, pause them, give them a go. So what about we have 795? And we're going to add... 313 to this. So again, look for complementary numbers. We have these two are complementary, they make a thousand, and then these two are complementary, they make a hundred. So 1,100, 1,105, 1,108. Okay, you see how these are complementary numbers together? So you can just straight away block them together as a thousand. 1,100, 1,105, 1,108. Okay. How did you go with that? Good? Maybe you were going 700, 1000, okay, and doing it that way. That's okay also. Alright, just start trying to look for these complementary numbers. Okay, what about we go another one? What about 597 and 407? Okay, so let's start adding these together. Pause it first maybe. 500, 900, 990, 997, 1004. And I reckon this is actually a lot more accurate way of doing it because you're not trying to carry numbers backwards than you're actually you would be thinking them. So I think it's a lot more a, an accurate method. Okay, but given I'll probably get one wrong now and then I'll let people say, "Ah, oh, you got this one wrong." Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, what about we do this one? Nine hundred and sixteen. Three hundred and eighty. Seven eighty-eight. Okay, what about we add these together now? Okay, so there is some complementary numbers. We've got 1,000, 1,900, and then we've got 1,910, 1,990, 2,070, 2,076, 2,084. Okay, how did you go with that? Yeah, you getting it that fast? I hope so. Okay, let's, let's go a couple more, and then we're going to get back to that original example. Okay. So, and I reckon you'll probably go that really fast, okay? So, 394, 173, 103, how did you go with this? Okay, pause it, give it a go. Alright, so we have 300, 400, 500, 590, 660. And this whole lot here is a big complementary number, okay? It will add up to 10, so 660 plus 10 is 670. Okay, come on. Very good, yeah? Okay. What about what about a big string of digits? Now let's let's do uh, let's do 
four of them, 612, 773, 738, and 454. Now I did also get these numbers off a random number generator, so I wasn't actually choosing, I thought oh, I don't want to choose numbers that are too easy or, or too hard or deliberately subconsciously choose whatever. So we'll see how we go with this, just thought I'd tell you that. So we have 1,000, 1,700, 2,400, 2,500, 2,510, 2,560, okay, 2,570, 2,573, 2,577, 2,577. Okay, how did you go with that? Good. How did I go with that? I, I'm not sure, okay. Hopefully I got the good answer with that. I'm pretty sure I did. So let's see how you went on that oh, you go on the first question. Okay, so here we go. All right. So let's have a look at you. How fast can you do it? Okay, like I said, five seconds may be a bit ambitious. So we have 900, 1500, 2100. Then we can add these complementary ones together. So we get 2200, 2290, uh, 2000. 2300, 2308. Okay, because there was that complementary number there, okay. Okay, so hopefully that's all very good there, yeah? Um, anyway, hopefully that was of some help to you. We'll see you next time. Okay, bye.